welcome Cue back to another video. I hope you are doing very well. This video is my first food video of 2019, so I thought I would make it a good one and recreate one of your favorites from 2018, which is a week of vegan lunch. Of course, the meals are different this time, and I hope this video brings you some inspiration when you're getting into the kitchen, cooking, creating, and making some super delicious food. With that being said, let's get into it, and this is a week of vegan lunch ideas. Alrighty, so we are starting the week with my favorite vegetable, sweet potato, of course, and I'm cutting it into wedge size pieces. I'm going to make some seriously awesome loaded sweet potato fries. Of course, I am drizzling them with a bit of oil as well as some pink salt and some nutritional yeast to taste. And then I bake these in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes or until they are nice and crispy. After this, I simply topped them with half a can of washed black beans as well as a whole heaped tablespoon of vegan mayonnaise, one of my current obsessions, some nutritional yeast sprinkled on top as well as some sesame seeds sprinkled on top. I then served it with a wedge of lime, again lime, one of my current obsessions. I really enjoy this style of lunch because it is super super full of flavor but also very filling. Moving on to Tuesday, and today we are making overnight oats, one of my favorite things to eat, honestly, for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I started with some oats in the bowl, as well as some of this Sacred Love Rose Cacao Powder, as well as some plant milk. I then mixed it all together until it was really, really well combined, as you can see, and I set that in the fridge for minimum an hour. It's best if you do it overnight. Once it was all done, I served it into a bowl with some Koryo coconut yogurt as well as a whole heap of peanut butter. The peanut butter obsession continues and some fresh strawberries and fresh blackberries. This is a really, really good lunch to have if you are craving something sweet. Moving on to Wednesday and we are starting with half of a can of black beans which I am mincing in my hand and then adding half of a can of tomatoes as well as some nutritional yeast and salt to taste. This was one of those days where I was honestly just using up whatever I had left in the cupboard and something that I usually have in the freezer for these kind of occasions is puff pastry. And in my opinion, pretty much everything tastes good in puff pastry. So I rolled this all up, then coated it with some oil as well as some sesame seeds on top, chopped it into two pieces and then cooked this in the oven for 20 minutes or until it was nice and golden. But yeah, I enjoyed this very, very much so and I really recommend it for if you are feeling pretty hungry but are also quite time poor. Moving on to Thursday and I lost most of the footage for what I made today but it was these amazing cauliflower wings with vegan mayonnaise. As always I have detailed all of the ingredients and the method down in the description below so if you are interested in making these which I really recommend because they're seriously delicious just make sure to check the description below. Moving on to Friday and Friday we are starting with some kale. Yep I've become someone who really enjoys kale and I'm not gonna lie it's like a food that I'm constantly craving now so I basically just grabbed a whole bunch of this and then tore the leaves off the stem and then I'm using some of my favorite chickpea and linseed tempeh I use half a packet of it and cut it into small pieces after that I'm getting half of a bunch of broccolini and I'm gonna put this all onto a baking tray. I'm currently loving meals like this where I can just chuck a few things onto a baking tray, cook them all together, serve them with some sort of carb, and that's basically my lunch done. I just drizzled this with a little bit of olive oil as well as salt to taste, and then I put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until everything's as crispy as you would like it, essentially. I serve this into a bowl with some brown rice noodles. There we have my roasted broccolini as well as the crispy kale and a whole lot of tempeh. Anyway, I really recommend trying this dish out. It is super easy and super simple. Moving on to Saturday and we're having an Amanda Ducks 
Original, which is a smoothie. I'm back on the smoothie train and absolutely loving it. I made this one with frozen bananas, frozen berries, cacao powder, and vanilla protein, something that is quite rare in my diet, but I have been really enjoying adding to my smoothies lately, even though it's literally just for the flavor, honestly, that I'm enjoying it for. I blended this all together and then served it in a small smoothie jar before also having one piece of toast with half of an avocado on top. I love having sweet and savory together. It's like one of my favorite combinations to have a smoothie and avalon toast together. Moving on to Sunday and we are starting with three white potatoes which I'm cutting into small pieces because what we're going to do is boil these until they are super super soft. Once they are all boiled I am then getting a fork and mashing it all together until it is well combined. I also had some olive oil, some salt and some nutritional yeast with this to make it nice and flavorful. Once that was all well combined, I then rolled it into four separate patties and I roasted these in the oven for about half an hour or until they are nice and golden like you can see. I then also served with some cherry tomatoes and avocado and that was very simply what I had for lunch. Alrighty, so that is a week of vegan lunch ideas. I recently asked you on Instagram if you had any video requests for the year and you guys really came through with so many amazing ideas. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, if you haven't given me your feedback yet, please let me know down in the comments below if there's anything you want to see from me in particular. I am taking requests, writing them down and I am getting right on it. Anyway, yeah, I hope this video has inspired you to get into the kitchen and make some delicious food. As always, thank you so much for watching and for being here. I appreciate it so much and I will see you very soon for another video. Have a beautiful day.